All right, this game is underway. This is a 1v1 between the green player in the upper left corner, ZNX FTW, versus the carbon player in the lower right, Zhe in the pumpkin saucer. And ZNX in that gothic, the gothic striker there with those purple tracers going very nice with the gothic skin. And I do notice that neither of these players have money makers or generators in their loadouts, so they will not be getting that extra income from those money makers or the extra upkeep from those generators when they run out of upkeep. And we have ZNX flying around trying to kill Zhe. And Zhe placing down two archies here, trying to get rid of that goalie eventually. And ZNX also placing down two archies, gonna get rid of the neutrals at the middle outpost first. And he is actually placing that Gemini right there, right out of the range of that goalie. And Zhe, I'm not sure what he was doing there, I think it was killing creeps. Not really a very productive use of his time, uh, finishing off that goalie from the back. And ZNX, with those Gemini just out of that range of that goalie, will be able to finish off, finish off the goalie without ZNX having to do much. And Zhe now doing a little bit of scout. Does see these two Gemini here, but he does... I'm pretty sure he realizes that those, those aren't really a big threat to him at the moment. ZNX also doing some scouting, flying over, seeing that uh, Zhe now has started to push up a little bit closer to the middle outpost. ZNX now um, increasing his forces here, um, and it's looking... It, it's very clumpish here, so I would assume that he's eventually going to push out from right here. And he does put... No, he's going to leapfrog them up. Okay. And Zhe now putting that Longhorn in the range of that Longhorn, being distra uh, distracted by those creeps, and Zhe getting finished off by one of ZNX's uh, Gemini overextending his uh, trip to the under contest area. <laughs> and ZNX now going to try and snipe that little patcher there. Patchers are a very cost efficient healing unit, although they are very low in armor and they are susceptible to many things. Uh, ZNX with three ratchets in the middle of his units will keep them alive very efficiently. As Zhe now taking back his archies that he has used to kill all three of these goliaths over here. And ZNX was trying to just kill them there. And what is this dot here? There is a carbon archie aiming at nothing here, so uh, Zhe should probably grab that and reposition it. Almost letting that archie there die. ZNX now does see this one. Is Zhe going to be able to pick it up in time? I'm guessing no. And ZNX does finish off that one archie. I'm not sure what that was there in the first place to do. And ZNX uh, harassing Zhe's units quite a lot. And Zhe with a pretty nice spread of units. Looks like he's going to be... There is a little archie war going on here. Uh, ZNX with his... Pat, uh, not, a, not a patcher, but a, a jammer. And Zhe with a Sonya. Now for the jamming units, the Sonya is a longer range and has more armor and is preferable to the jammer. Although the jammer is um, quite cheaper, but they are they do have a lot less armor and they can easily be bombed down. And Zhe queuing up some bombs in his build queue. I wonder if that's what he's going to plan on doing, just trying to bomb down that jammer there. And it looks like ZNX is actually ahead in this Archie fight. And he is going to probably snipe that one Archie there. Yes, indeed. And Zhe is now bombing ZNX's units. ZNX realizing that that jammer might be needed from that bombing run. Zhe going down to ZNX. And ZNX does still have his jammer there, protecting his units from Zhe's firing artillery here. And Zhe's cluster of units is not looking very hot right now. And that Sonya is actually smoking, which is not a very good thing. And Zhe continuing to bomb, uh, tr trying to get a bunch of these units here killed. Uh, does finish off. Uh, I think that was. I think that was a jammer, which is a plus for him. Although there are several other jammers over here. That is one of the uh, good things about jammers is that since they're so cheap, you can just put so many of them in the possible case that one of them dies. Zhe now putting down some extra patchers to fix up the rest of those smoking units there. And in the meantime, the mid has gone to the green team's control. 
and I think that was a box. That was indeed a box. ZNX grabbing the first one, and Z he does see that that box is there, and he does grab the second box. So each player getting one box. It's pretty even there. They will both get uh, 20,000 credits, approximately. ZNX dropping some patrolling jackals and some jackals on attack. So that's... Uh, that will distract ZNX a little bit if he chooses to fly back to his fort, which he does. Because uh, in large numbers, or if they're placed on the corners, jackals can actually do a pretty large amount of damage to the fort, and Zhe actually moving his tanks up a little bit closer to the middle outpost. Getting a little bit better of a surround there, but ZNX with a lot more tanks, it looks like he has 14 Gemini as opposed to only 9 Longhorn over here for Zhe, and ZNX is indeed moving out. Uh, will this defender's advantage be able to stop this huge rush of Gemini? Uh, I would say yes with that one distracting Gemini here. Uh, it looks like Zihi's units will suffer quite badly, although Zihi landing with... Uh, he does not have a death ray. He just did upgrade that, though, so he does have a death ray now. But he was landing and shooting there. And ZNX low on health, but did get away there. Zihi trying to finish off whatever he can with his saucer, assisting his units, using that death ray. ZNX low on health again, but does get away again. Uh, Zihi killing a lot of stuff with that death ray. That death ray very energy efficient, very very damaging, it does a lot of damage. And Zihi is actually going a Lexi Saucer, or technically it's a Brenna Saucer, although Brenna is just another skin for the default pilot Lexi, which does increase your Air Max attack power by, um, I believe, the most of any pilot. So Zihi is just doing a lot of damage with his mech. And now ZNX coming out with Bertha's, and that will be quite quite bad for Zihi. Uh, should those Sonyas die, his units will just be completely destroyed. And ZNX queuing up two more Berthas, so he will have four Berthas on the field all at one time soon enough. But Zihi uh, queuing up a hat, uh, that should, should ward off uh, ZNX pretty well. And Zihi with three Sonyas, making sure that his units here are extra protected against those Berthas, as he does realize that if, uh, if he only had one Sonya and that were to die, he would be in quite a lot of trouble, and Zihi actually finishing off ZNX there in a little bit of Saucer Striker dogfight. You don't really see that very often. And Zihi, tr he was trying to use his Death Ray there, but there's just too much here warding him away, and his units are suffering quite badly here. Uh, ZNX now respawning, taking out his some jammers and more healing units, and also some tanks. And Zhe is actually moving out. Um, this is not going to do very much at all, seeing as how ZNX just has so many units here, and these are also set on T, so these will just go over here and meet their maker. They are going to die. There's no other way of putting that. They are screwed. And Zhe. Flying a little bit around that outpost, not getting healed up, and does get finished off by ZNX, although he does drop that hat in time. ZNX really low on health, really low on health, does get finished off by a Hellstorm hat. <laughs> Dropping an R! Clearly, it is very... And he, he, he didn't see his health. It is a very bad thing if you die in a 1v1, because unlike team games like a 2v2 or a 3v3, you don't have any teammates there to help out your units or to move them away from an area that's very, very dangerous. If you die in a 1v1, your units are on their own, which is never a very good thing. ZNX now ferrying up some of his units from his forward over to a little bit of the middle outpost here, the middle outpost area. Zihi positioning that Archie in range of those, but Z uh, ZNX does have a jammer there, so that should protect them enough, unless Zihi decides to somehow get rid of those jammers. And Zihi flying around, waiting for a Longhorn to come out of the outpost. And ZNX queuing up yet another jammer, as those jammers just... They're... 
they're they're essential in Archie fights or artillery fights, and ZNX does get finished off by a hunter seeker and drops a very, very sad face. He is not happy that he died. He's quite sad. And Zihi. Um lasting pretty long. I'm not sure why ZNX isn't just moving up to the middle outpost here and just taking over it completely. Because ZNX, uh, Zihi does not have very many units here at all. Include, uh, two just died there, so he is very low on units. ZNX could completely overwhelm Zihi's units if he just moved up a little bit. And Zihi flying around waiting for another Sonya to come out. And he doesn't put it down, he puts down a creep instead. But that Sonya is now there uh, protecting his units in a little bit sort of protecting his units because they're still getting shot at by artillery, but the artillery is the artillery shots are just going all over the place. And ZG healing up that little patcher there. And ZNX with a very large cluster of units here. Um it looked like ZG was bombing there for a second and ZG dropping some patrolling jackals to take care of those creeps. Ensuring that well not ensuring but in his mind hoping that the green creeps won't just like automatically walk into the middle outpost. And the upkeep right now is 60 to 20. It's a 3 to 1 upkeep difference in favor of ZNX. And Zihi is just, he's just had enough of seeing that huge cluster of units there. He is just getting his bombs. He is trying to get rid of that. Like if I see a cluster of units like that and I have bombs, I will just bomb that. I will bomb that cluster until it exists no more. I just can't stand seeing big clusters like this. It's like, I need something AoE to get rid of it. It it has to die. And ZNX low on health, but does get away. Zihi continuing to bomb. Uh, it is actually pretty effective in this sense. Seeing as how ZNX does not have any instant damage anti-air units like hats or flackers. And with those striker missiles and Zihi getting killed by a Gemini, ZNX really low on health but does get away as there is no enemy mech to contest him now. And that Sonya did get finished off by those Gemini here. And ZNX with the level 2 striker missiles able to kill just so much and has briefly taken over the middle outpost that uh, Longhorn there might end up neutralizing it if ZNX... ZNX has still not moved up to the middle outpost even though it is obviously not going to be taken over by Zihi anytime soon. But ZNX is now moving out, and it looks like he has set his units on attack. Zihi able to get away there. ZNX trying to finish him off. Uh, yeah, okay. Zihi does get away there. ZNX now deciding... Nope, never mind. He really does not care about that middle outpost. Zihi dropping the GG. Those striker missiles going really slow for some reason. I'm not sure why they do that. It bugs me whenever they do, though. And it looks as if Zihi has just given up. Just chilling over his outpost, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> and ZNX circling around him, gonna try and get him killed. Draining that outpost energy. Lowering Zihi's health slowly. Going. 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 Gone. Uh, yes, Zihi at this point has just decided there is absolutely no way that he can come back from this. Uh, ZNX dropping the GGWP. It was a fairly good game. It was a pretty good game. Uh, ZNX probably could have ended it a little bit quicker if he decided to take over the middle outpost. Um, like just secure it, I guess. Like move his units up to there and surround the outpost with it. And Zihi getting killed by ZNX in the after game where your damage is boots boosted a very lot. And taking a look at the scores here, ZNX with about 4,000 more points than Zihi. Uh, died three times as opposed to Zihi's five times, got more kills than Zihi. Though Zihi did kill more of ZNX's units than ZNX killed Zihi's. So overall, that was a pretty good game. Uh, ZNX was harassing a lot of Zihi's units, and Zihi probably could have prevented that if he put down a few more hats. 
Like, if you have a lot of hats scattered around the area, pretty much no mech can stay there for more than a few seconds. So, so ZNX would not have been able to do very much there. And I think it was the Berthas that was really the game changer here, seeing as how Zihi only had those Archies and ZNX having both Archies and Berthas. So ZNX was able to uh, pretty much even out the field in the early artillery fights, but when, he, when level 6 came along, he was able to just dominate everything with those Berthas. And just even, like, despite Zihi having a Sonya, those Berthas, he had four out on the field, probably more at once. I wasn't really paying attention to how many he had maximum at one time, though he did have four on the field at once at one point. Uh, four Berthas, despite having a Sonya, they do a lot of damage to your cluster of units. And that is, that, that's what they did to Zihi. They just whittled down his units... Uh, including his Sonyas, which got just destroyed eventually, allowing the rest of his units to get completely annihilated. Um, Zihi building more units than ZNX, although that was mostly his lighter units, like the Patchers, Bombs, and the Jackals, seeing as how they are just very cheap to make, but they can be they can be efficient. So overall, that was a good game. By ZNX and Zihi. And that is game. See you guys next time.